السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته 1983 there was a big 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 famine in Ethiopia at the time in two provinces called Eritrea and Tigray and hundreds of thousands of people came out to Sudan and it was highly publicized by all the international ministry media and 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 at that time, there was no Muslim organization raising fund to help those people, and most of the mosques were raising the fund and giving it to uh, other mainstream organization and non-Muslim organization, which is good, as I say. During that time, I married and, uh, to my wife, and she came from Egypt in September or October, something like this. Then I was invited to attend uh, a meeting for the Islamic Medical Association in Khartoum, and on behalf of the, its branch in London. Uh, I did not have money to buy the ticket at the time. I went to the Imam of the Islamic Culture Center at the time, and he was a student of my father in the 50s in the Institute of uh, uh, Al-Azhar in, in Cairo, at the Ali Mahal Institute or Ahmad Mahal Institute, something like this. And he opened the drawer and he gave me 300 pounds to buy the ticket and to go to Khartoum. And I had another colleague of mine who was a consultant. He said, no, I don't have money for the consultant. The consultant has good income. He can sponsor himself. So I went to the organizer or to the middleman, uh, tell him, work, where are you going to meet in Khartoum? He said, I don't know, just to go to Khartoum. What? What? Just to go to Khartoum. Luckily, I've been to Khartoum in 1976 while my father was working as a professor in the Islamic University in Umm Durman. Okay, I bought the ticket. I left my wife alone. This was actually in December. I left my wife alone and uh, with some friends and uh, landed by two o'clock in the morning. At the time, luckily, there were three five-star hotel in Khartoum. One of them called the Sadaqa, the Friendship. The second, Hilton, and the third was the Grand Hotel, which was built, built by the British, uh, uh, during the British colonization. And it was on the Nile. I told the taxi to come with me to go around about three to four o'clock in the morning, and I started with the first hotel, which is Grand Hotel. And alhamdulillah, I found that the delegation was there. So I joined the meeting in the next day. I stayed with them for two days. Then afterwards, uh, a young man from uh, Islamic, uh, Islamic Relief Organization of Sudan, ISRA, Islamic Relief Organization of uh, Sudan, ISRA, uh, took me to visit their uh, headquarter and telling me about Uh, the family in, 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 in Ethiopia, in Eritrea and Tigray. The media was focusing only on one side of the story, which is the Christian, which is, they suffered, but they never focused on the non-Christian, which are Muslims as well. I took some of the photographs, and this is how the media can portray and magnify things. And to, to a point that actually during that time, uh, Sir Bob Geldof organized a, co- a concert in between New York or between Washington, between USA and London, and there is 50 million uh, pound in one day. And uh, the first million uh, dollar came from a good donor, great donor in the United Arab Emirates, from United Arab Emirates. So I took the photographs with me and uh, landed in Egypt. I was to book for a transit for a few days with my family. As the story say, I raised 1,500 Egyptian pounds from them, one of which is 20 pence from this young uh, man at the age of nine, or young man at the age of nine, who now is a professor uh, in the university. And I came back. I wanted to do something because now, you see, the, 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 the process of uh, awareness raising came to me a year ago when I visited Yugoslavia, when we saw all of us, what has happened in Sabra and Shatila and what has happened in Hama. And now, so the reality that the media is not fair because only look at one side of the coin, but not the other side. So I wanted to do something at the time. And I came back and I started to talk to people around me. 
and they were not interested. Actually, then the only one who was interested was a colleague of mine who was doing his PhD in chemistry. Uh, and I was doing my doctor of medicine in medicine, Dr. Ahsan. And we went ahead after I gave two khutbah, two speeches in Birmingham University, then in Astro University. And there's about 500 pounds uh, altogether, plus the 1,500 Egyptian pounds. And opening the bank account. Opening the bank account was so easy, not like nowadays. And this is how the process of social awareness took one year and four incidents or four events or four disasters to give me the wake up call. The visit to Sarajevo, the massacre of St. Sabra and Shatila camp, then the massacre in the city of Hama and now the famine in Africa. So I started to think, let us do something. But before that, I had nothing to do with any humanitarian or social or developmental work. Thank you for the people who gave me the wake-up call.